Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today we are going to discover a very interesting and a very exclusive thing like the electroplating. I mean about the electroplating it's already been recited in Quran. I mean from 14,000 years ago our beloved prophet Hajjat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talked about it. In Quran there are some verse so I will reference it in later. So let's get into the video. The basic formation of electroplating represents the way it's been covered up with another metal where the purpose is either to protect the base structure with a solid metal which will act as a barrier for the structure or just bring some new looks. And heat and temperature is very vital thing for metallic transformation where if you heat up the metal and later you covered another metal with the molten metal which will be known as the anode i mean they will reformed and they will create a new shape and uh, by the mercy of allah i mean by the help of allah which actually created by the dulkarnaim between two rocks as you can see some of the anode is being submerged into a solution where the solution will do the reaction by heating up the atom and replace it to another destination by the help of potential difference where the potential difference gained along a battery basically the charge of negative end and positive end will have actions in order to reach the no potential difference or zero so as long as they are they are having extra charge remain in the electro illusion will go on and the anode will decoy and the cathode will gain the layer from the anode as the reaction will be done under dedicated solutions and it will have some surplus if the anode having some impurities also the solution will remain unchanged as the intermediary catalyst Again, this idea came up along with the modern science uh, where the rusting characteristics of iron was a natural phenomenon and, and iron structures needed to be protected by coating. The whole idea was discovered a long long time ago before the modern science got revealed. And certainly all the knowledges are from the best scientist of all the time and it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Quran stated by Allah there was a guy named Dulkar Naim. He was a guy where he was blessed with the Allah's powers and knowledge. Once he traveled along the world, once he reached in the between of two mountains, he found some people having a very different language. Where it was them who were pleading for the rescue from the attacks of Yajuj and Majuj and they spreading the corruption throughout the land. That time the Yajuj and Majuj are the criminal group where they invade lands and loot them away. So as the locality remain in fear and ask for help to Almighty Allah, the Dulkan Naim created a barrier between the two hills to block the pathway from the Yajuj and Majuj. It was first ever built structure by the mercy of Allah where it was a double layer of metals in it. As told the iron blocks was heated up to red and later from above there was a molten copper poured over the hot iron where the hot iron will create a strong bond with the molten copper while molten copper is being worked as a coating or a layer over the iron also filled the voids and made it more stronger by the order of Allah which gives the idea of layering something up when it needed and need to be heated up at the same time also like the electroplating requires the same environment and some catalyst where Quran leads the modern science from scratch and the almighty Allah the only creator who can be better than the Allah there is no one so which modern science discovers nowadays and proves it that quran is stated about 1400 years ago and what can be better than the quran the living comments from almighty allah subhanallah that's all from today guys hope you all enjoy and see you all soon with another interesting discoveries till then have fun good luck and peace